All right, guys. Um, just going to show you how to install the new uh, Samsung leaked ice cream sandwich firmware. It's uh, labeled XXKPA, whereas the last one was KP8. So, go on to samfirmware.com. They'll have uh, they'll have the download link there along with uh, some of the older phones too and new phones and bad firmware. It's great. You should really sign up. Um, just wait for that. Type in it. Download it. Then you're gonna to want to head over straight to XDA developers because you want to go get a a, a root kernel, uh, chain fire like them all. You should go and check his Twitter out, check his uh, XDA out. Um, if you don't know where to find uh, the Galaxy S2 form, just go straight to the XDA home or just press on forms and scroll down through the list. If you can try and uh, find the Galaxy S2. The uh, i9100. So, yeah, there it is here. Now you're going to want to click on uh, general. I clicked on the development because I thought it was in there, but sure, it's uh, actually in. There's loads of posts about it in uh, the general section. So here it is here. I'll, uh, I'll actually link this post into the uh, description. I'll link everything in the description. Sam Firmware's, uh, uh, Sam Firmware's uh, website, their Twitter page. I know their Twitter. I'm always on their Twitter. Really good to keep up to date on their Twitter. Um, here's a few screenshots. Um, yeah, so there's not much change since the last one. I think like overall it's a little bit more stable. I know lock screen looks a lot better. The um, the Wi-Fi is connecting actually quicker. Uh, you can screenshot. There'll be another video later on about how to screenshot. Um, yeah, it's not. It's just yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna download here, and I will get back to you when it's done. All right. Now it's uh, I think it's about a minute left in it, so I'm just gonna let this uh, download. Um, so basically, first off, what you're gonna want to do when you're installing this is just back up everything. I have, I'll show you how to get into uh, recovery if you don't know how. Uh, you must have recovery 5.0 or uh, later on it, or else you can you ha you're gonna have to install that uh, kernel. Well, you're gonna have to install a kernel if you want root, but um. Yeah, just make sure you back up all your apps first because I will not be responsible if you break your phone. Um, although the Galaxies are quite hard to break, they're not unbreakable, nor is any phone. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to wait for this to download and I'll show you what to do from here. Okay, now that's fully done. I'm just gonna extract them both. It's the password, our password for uh, the uh, X or the KPA is samfirmware.com, all one word. So that'll extract. You'll have your uh, modem, your code, your multi CSC, uh, your kernel, and I think there's also an EFS, which you don't want to be uh, messing with the EFS. That can actually destroy from. <laughs> I know uh, one of the early developers of the Ice Cream Sandwich AOSP was uh, AO, yeah, uh, was uh, Airbus, <laughs> but uh, he his uh, EFS has actually gotten screwed up on. Him. So you're gonna want to open up uh, Odin straight away after you extract those folders and you go to them. All right. Now we have Odin open. You're going to click on get your PIF file from where you've extracted your uh, KPA files to. And you actually, I've actually figured this out. You don't actually need to uh, extract the CF root. Normally you do if you download off his website, but we didn't download off his website. I'll actually link his website to you. 
um, you will need to extract it then. Um, but yeah, just put uh, the PDA is the phone. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, there's the, the instructions are there. Um, yeah, PDA is the code. The modem is, or sorry, the phone is the modem and the CSC is the multi CSC. So you're going to grab your phone now, uh, head over to uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. That's the three button combo if you want to know what it is. Home, power, and volume up. That's recovery. Or if you haven't, the Clockwork Mod Recovery app. You can just go straight into that and reboot to uh, mod recovery. So here I'm just going to do it now just to show you how to do it. I've already backed up everything I need to back up. Now, see the way I'm getting that insecure kernel, the uh, yellow uh, warning icon that will come up at the end of your boot when you do install the um, the insert kernel that has root access, but it, it, it won't, it's not bad. And um, so that's pretty much how you back up. You just go straight down in Clock and Recovery down to backup and just press backup. Um, now, three button combo for download mode is home, power, and volume down, and then you'll get this screen you're going to want to press volume up your phone will connect into you're going to have to obviously put your phone into uh, the USB now uh, when you press up it will connect once it's connected you can press start and it should fire away and um, best thing to do with your phone and your laptop is to just our computer you can just leave it and let it work just don't touch it really because yeah just doesn't Things can wait. Yours will probably take a little bit slower than this. I've sped mine up a little bit. You'll have that blue bar come up on your uh, phone to show you the, what progress it's making. So here's the first boot of the Galaxy S2. I haven't sped this up so this will be the speed that yours will be going at. And in the meantime while that's booting up you can go and get your uh, CF root. Uh, press reset on Odin on all fields reset it's over there in the right hand corner. Click on the PDA find your CF root folder Click on it, it should be a RAR file. A dot RAR or a or. Then, once your Galaxy boots up, you can whatever put in your Wi Fi, your password, your Gmail, you can do all that. You won't lose any of that when you flash the kernel. It does take a long time to boot up for the first time, obviously it's, it's just a fresh start. Um, now when I turned my phone on first, it said installing applications. It was installing um, Keys Air, Photo Editor, uh, a few other ones as well. Pretty, But uh, that's a, I'm not going to oblige it, giving me apps, whatever. There's uh, office. Okay, so this is the first thing I know is that I actually had uh, English Ireland, whereas the last time is UK and America English. So that's a start for us anyway. Um, touchscreen was a little bit off at the very start, but it was just obviously 
reading the uh, memory card, I just love it laggy. Um, after using it for about 10 minutes now, I can just see that the, uh, the TouchWiz overlay is a little bit laggy. It's a bit laggier than the uh, KP8, but uh, I don't really use the TouchWiz anyway. I'll go for the Nova Launcher. It'll, uh, you can download it anywhere and it automatically updates and it's free as well. Uh, the Samsung notification update is still there, which is kind of annoying because it's always in your update, but I've kind of gotten used to it. There you go, always swipe to get rid of uh, applications. Love that feature. Same with multitasking. Yeah, so basically that's, that's that now. You're going to want to Turn your phone off or just press the three button combo at the home screen to get back into uh, download mode. And that's basically it. So please subscribe. There's the uh, insecure kernel. <laughs> so please subscribe. Cheers, guys. Um, I put a lot of time into these videos.